But if the police say nobody shot him, I believe nobody shot him. And if nobody shot him, that's the same nobody that shot Tupac. And if nobody shot Tupac, it's the same nobody that shot MLK. Yet assuming the police say no one shot him, I accept no one shot him. And assuming no one shot him, that is the very no one that shot Tupac. And assuming no one shot Tupac, a similar no one shot MLK, what we need what we're doing is beginning the Dark Jaguars again in Marin City. Simply getting first showing pride and afterward showing schooling. And afterward, we'll see where it goes from that point. And furthermore, as a safeguard system for the skinheads, these are the kind of individuals that get compassionate honors tycoons. How might they be helpful people by the way that they moguls? And there are such countless destitute individuals. Shows how obtuse they are so feline Williams. Just join the discussion on the continuous secret encompassing Tupac Shaker's homicide. And it appears as though feline accepts the U.S. government wiped out Tupac, very much like they supposedly disposed of Martin Luther Ruler and Malcolm X now. With every one of the reports circumventing that Tupac's demise was requested by Diddy, a many individuals are overlooking one more significant piece of the riddle, and that is Tupac tax political activism. Tupac was the child of a dark puma who frequently stood in opposition to the public authority and was carried out to obstruction and transformation. As a result of this, there's been a ton of hypothesis that Tupac and different individuals from the Shaker family were designated by the FBI. As a matter of fact, Tupac's dad, Billy Reith, freely blamed the U.S. government for setting up Tupac to be killed we ride to kick the bucket together, my dearest companion. Yet truly, he wasn't an excessive number of individuals. Love P. The Crips cherished them, they adored them. And that was the case, they wouldn't cherish him, they would have attempted to kill him. And they didn't really, they didn't have anything to do with that now. This is the kind of thing you'll seldom hear superstars discuss anyway, assuming there's one industry figure who's never terrified to stand in opposition to the people, pulling the strings, it's Feline Williams. So what Cat had say regarding the public authority's supposed contribution in Tupac's passing? How about we get into it on the off chance that you're a bonehead? You can accept this was about Schneit, yet Schneit has been available the entire life for a long time. We know what its identity was focused on. We know whose life he saved. And we know why they won't discuss it. So to comprehend the reason why Feline Williams and Tupac's dad are apparently blaming the public authority for killing Tupac. You first need to remember that Tupac wasn't a rapper. He was additionally a political lobbyist whose family had solid connections to the dark freedom development presently. It's not precisely a mysterious that the U.S. government effectively attempted to sabotage this development. Verifiable records show that the FBI, under the initiative of Edgar Hoover and through the COINTELPRO program, put forth broad attempts to destroy the Dark Patriot gathering, and they did it through various means from barring Dark families from homeownership programs and subverting Dark Abundance Collection to purportedly killing Dark progressives, for example, MLK Malcolm X and Fred Hampton. Concerning the Shaker family, they were on the FBI's radar for quite a long time because of their connections to the Dark Puma Party, Tupac's late mother Amy Shacker, and his natural dad, William Billy Festoon, were both associated with the exercises of the Dark Jaguar Party in New York during the late 1960s and mid-70s. A month preceding Tupac's introduction to the world, Amy confronted preliminary in New York as a piece of the Jaguar 21 lawbreaker case and was viewed as not at legitimate fault for an excess of 150 charges. Anyway, other Shaker relatives who were subsidiary with the Dark Pumas confronted serious criminal convictions and detainment. This incorporates Tupac's stepfather, Milu Shaker, who was on the FBI's 10 most needed escapees list for quite some time in 1986. Milu was seen as at real fault for taking part in a 1981 looter, during which cops and a watchman were killed. He served almost 37 years in jail prior to being exculpated in December 2022 anyway. 
He passed on only eight months after his delivery. Tupac's guardian Elmer Jonah Pratt was a high-positioning figure in the Dark Puma Party who was sentenced for homicide and burned through 27 years in the slammer before his conviction was toppled. And it was uncovered that the proof defending himself had been hidden by the indictment. And afterward, there's Tupac's backup parent, Asad Shakur, a previous individual from the Dark Freedom Armed Force, who was indicted for first-degree murder in the killing of another Jersey state officer, and is as yet needed by the FBI Asada, got away from jail in 1979. And the FBI is right now offering a $2 million compensation for data prompting her catch. So was the FBI attempting to get to Asada through Tupac well as per John. Poe's writer of the book, The FBI Battle on Tupac Shaker, Tupac's late mother Amy, consistently thought the FBI was engaged with her child's homicide. One of Amy's dear companions told Poe's that Amy was attempting to avoid the revolutionary political stuff. Since Tupac's demise out of dread, they killed her child Pods, said she needed to remain clear since she was frightened Pods additionally guaranteed that us insight purposely gave any medications to fuel her habit and ruin her activism they ceaselessly gave her break to make her foster an undeniable fixation Pods said that is the proof I found out Pods additionally brought up how after Tupac's homicide Amy functioned with the previous U.S. delegate Cynthia McKinn to pass a bill to get all the public authority. Reports on Tupac delivered anyway. The bill was dismissed, Pods said he then documented a request through the Opportunity of Data Act, yet he was simply ready to get 99 out of 4,000 pages the FBI has on Tupac concerning Tupac's activism. He turned into an individual from the new African Jaguars, when he was only 18 and begun openly revolting against police severity and supporting for the arrival of political detainees. He, in the end, selected himself as the seat and won the political decision after this. He began effectively coordinating gathering gatherings and attempting to contact youngsters. And to show you exactly how relatively radical Tupac was, look at this meeting with 17-year-old Pac discussing his mom's impact my mom showed me three things regard information, look for information, a timeless everlasting excursion. Resembles my hairstyle, the line 360 degrees fine now, which generally and she instructed me to not hush up to on the off chance that there's something to me talk it. That is everything God, that was the breath she generally said, yet in addition to tune in. And she generally, she made me this little wisecrack that God gave both of you ears to tune in and one mouth to talk two ears. And one mouth, good judgment, one mouth you ought to talk yet, you ought to likewise tune in. And that is where the information come from listening now. With respect to the proof that the public authority, the FBI, might have been associated with Tupac's passing John Podes, guaranteed that the FBI utilized similar strategy they purportedly involved on Tupac's mom, as well as different activists, for example, Huey Newton, where they controlled them to either get them dependent on drugs or engage in group culture, knowing that this would destroy them. When they began inclining more in the direction of activism, the U.S. government got rid of them, Pods said as clever and splendid as Tupac, was he was controlled by death row, which was financed by us knowledge to advance his most pessimistic verses. When Pac attempted to move away from that and was leaving death row records they needed to kill him strangely in one of his last meetings, Tupac discusses how he needed to move away from rap music and spotlight more on motion pictures and advancing positive things, chipping away at my little creation organization, a film creation organization, we got a ton of part of beneficial things occurring. So I'm on the off chance that I say it. Right now, the manner in which my Lou has been going it'll the entire fall through yet on the off chance that I said it you go gracious, that is truly pleasant, yet allow me a month to make sure I can secure it. Then I tell everyone except great stuff. I simply need to stretch the limits and work work. I need to get away from the music and go beginning fading myself into the acting more the collection that is out now is only my inclination, it's close to home, yet it's not provocative.
so I believe that should do some intriguing work with my music, and I can do that assuming that I'm working in the wall, cause I develop and learn more things, and have more to discuss yet on the off chance that you in prison, and you getting pursued by the police. It's like I haven't gone any place from the block CU. I'm actually discussing exactly the same things you understand what I mean. So the music mirrors that so first I got to move out of the climate. And afterward, I have different things to expound on likewise significant Tupac's father, guaranteed in a new meeting that Keedy's capture means practically nothing in light of the fact that the key inquiry is the job the public authority supposedly played in setting up Poe's homicide well. I think the critical inquiry, there is the public authority, the public authority, gave him the arrangement, a similar he was being followed by the public authority, the evening of his death he being followed by the public authority quad studio. It's a well-established truth-known reality, so I don't have the foggiest idea about this person Keith. I don't know perhaps he needed to express that to escape some misto. I don't realize I realize it seemed to be an arrangement to me.